right, guys, welcome back to the garage. Today we're gonna have a look at the steering system in our Can Am X3. Starting out here, we have an Assault Industries flat bottom all Alcantara wrap steering wheel attached to our OMP quick disconnect, followed by a Pro Armor hub adapter that attaches to our Hess Motorsports two to one steering quickener. Up front here, we have a 2023 Can Am X3 factory rack attached to our Hess Motorsports steering rack support system, down to our Hess Motorsports tire rods that attaches to our ZRP Racing billet front hubs. Very nice components, OEM type fitment, no fabrication needed. I'll do a quick video showing um, what it's like, 360 degrees lock to lock out of this unit. And I'll also post some videos of before and after from the stock Can-Am steering assembly to what we have here. All right, we'll take a quick look at the degrees of rotation on the steering wheel versus the angle of the front axle. So around 360 degrees lock to lock. So 180 degrees of rotation, full steering angle to the left there. 180 degrees to the right, full lock. There you can see full steering angle on the front axle. This really helps with the front end bite, initial turn in, uh, keeps you from keeping your hands crossed up or ever having to take your hands off the steering wheel, which I feel like is very important. Helps with those oversteer situations. Uh, really makes the car feel like it's on its tiptoes, much more like a road race car or a go-kart as opposed to the factory Can-Am steering wheel. Stay tuned, I'll go ahead and put the video footage of the stock Can-Am steering system versus Hess Motorsports. Again, thank you for watching. All right, we're gonna do a quick look at this lap that I know I didn't have the Hess Motorsports steering quickener in, and as you can see, I'm sawing at the wheel quite a bit here. Um, not much response from the front end because there's actually very little angle on the front wheels even though my hands are crossed up like here. You can see the car pushing wide. Uh, a lot of steering input on oversteer. I tried to really cut down on him uh, on this corner here. Uh, didn't use the berm and you can see in corner X I really get crossed up. And there's really not a lot of feedback from the front end, um, even with that much angle. Here in the tight stuff, again, really got to use quite a bit of rotation. Miss the apex, uh, miss the apex and exit here, even though I got a lot of wheel into it. And sawing at the wheel, trying to get on power. And I hear again on the big right-hand sweeper. Um, not a lot of slide angle there, but quite a bit of rotation of the steering wheel. And that's a lap without the Hess Motorsports steering rack. All right, we're gonna take a look at a different lap, different day, different layout. However, this is with the Hess Motorsport steering quickener. This is the two to one unit. As you can see, a lot less steering wheel uh, rotation needed to get the front end to turn. Also makes uh, the front end feel like it's much more on its tiptoes, a lot more front end bite. In these long sweeper situations here, um, really feel like you could drive the car more like a road race car, not really any need to drift or slide to keep the power under control. Again, here's similar corner as in the last video. Not a lot of angle need to catch the oversteer. The one thing you gotta be mindful is not having any wheel angle in it over jumps. And here's a similar situation where I tried to uh, not use the berm, get it cut down under and you can see very little rotation needed. Might be a little bit better grip on this day, but yeah, in no part in this video do you see my hands go over 180 or, or have to uh, be
be removed from the steering wheel, which is really, really nice. It's a very helpful tool um, in short course racing. Uh, very happy with this product. Easy to install. Uh, solid unit. Haven't had any issues with it at all. Really makes the car much more like a road race car than uh, it was with the stock steering system. 